The Japanese invasion of Scotland looks set to continue with hearts about to sign Koyusuke Tagawa. Welcome back guys to Son of Scotland TV. Yet again it's another signing for hearts and yet again I have no idea who the guy is. I can't really say too much about him. I can barely pronounce his name but we're signing him. It's Koyusuke Tagawa. And he is set to be a Hearts player within the next couple of days. The deal is pretty much done. It just has to be finalised and we just have to wait on a work permit. But other than that, he is pretty much an unofficial Hearts player and could make his debut for the opening game of the season, which would be good. He's 24, 6 foot tall, plays for FC Tokyo. Hopefully that changes within the next 48 hours. Is a Japan international. I say Japan international and I'm going to use that leniently because he has only played two games since 2019. So it's not like he is constantly getting picked. But he has at least been picked which shows that he is at least considered for that style and that level of football. It must be a, a decent level. And he must have impressed somebody if he actually got called up and made two appearances for Japan. So I think it's fair to say that we're not signing a dud here. And in that game against Japan, or in that game with Japan against Hong Kong, he actually scored uh, in one of his only two international appearances. So it looks like this guy could be the man that we need. I hope this doesn't mean that we're going to lose Shanklin now that we've brought in another striker. Hopefully Koyasuk Tagawa is in here to help Shanklin and help provide the goals. Now we did lose Ginelli, we did lose Humphrey, so I think it's only you know, it's only normal that we'd be bringing in more attacking players. Let's just hope they're adding to the attacking ranks at Hearts and not taking away from it. Now, we are also set to sign another player again Work permits getting in the way, but Kenneth Fargas from Costa Rica is another one who's been linked with Hearts, and he is pretty similar to Tagawa in the sense that he is almost a Hearts player, but not quite. We're being forced to wait on this signing to happen. Now, it looks like this one is a little bit further away than the Japanese signing this, but it could also be done before the start of the season and possibly could be ready to play against St. Johnston. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to this. Again, another guy that has played for the national team. I believe he's played a couple of games for Costa Rica. Um, he's got nine appearances for the Costa Rican under-23 side. So, And he is only 21, so that probably explains why he hasn't played for the, uh, the senior national side for Costa Rica. But again, it's another two players, guys. Not exactly sure about them. Haven't heard of of them but I would rather this if I'm being honest I'd rather take a stab in the dark I would rather us sign players that I haven't heard of because we could try and sign players from the Scottish Premiership but you know you're signing players that might not necessarily be an upgrade and if they are an upgrade it might be a small upgrade I like signing unknown players from different countries, from different sides of the world, because we're going, we are literally going into the unknown. Yeah, these guys could be duds, they could suck, but they could be great. You know, they, they could be the next breakout stars at Hearts, and gives you a little bit of belief, gives you a little bit of anticipation that we could be having a great player on our hands rather than just signing, you know, some average guy from a team that is below us in Scotland. So I'm excited to see what these new signings are like. I'm excited for these two new deals to be made official. And uh, I guess we won't really know much more until the weekend, until we actually play our first competitive game. And we will find out whether these new signings are good or whether or not we've been robbed. Anyway, guys, that is it. Keep you updated if anything else more happens. But yeah, another Japanese player. Looks like he's going to be coming in to hearts. Till next time. Peace.